Hello everyone, it's Sunday, miserable Sunday, and this weather matches my mood. I don't know why, but Sundays always bring me down, I don't know why. <laughs> but let's be positive, we are playing an existential horror game here, so no place for uh, frowns. Let's turn those upside down, huh? <laughs> okay, when we last left off, we were at Throgmorton's mansion here, and he gave us a case. And that case... I was looking at this before I pressed record uh, on my on this video. I was reading through these two clues that uh, Throgmorton gave us, and it says here that there must be evidence more of such crimes that were carried out. This referring to the Innsmouth folk which attacked the divers and uh, the researcher uh, Harriet Doe. Uh, this co this one here also refers to. To do this, I must investigate and discover who attacked his expedition. Looking on the map, there's not really many places to go, which would really, you know, aid in that sort of task. Here, everything is basically, there's nothing here to investigate. There's a library. That's definitely not it. Uh, there's a city hall. Nah. The only place we haven't really seen yet, which is in this area, is, of course, the police station. So... Logically, we are going to the cop shop. And uh, to do that, I am just going to go... Yeah, basically direct. Hmm, I can go that way. I'll just go a bit. And we'll see if we'll see anything interesting. Yeah. So far, I'm still really loving this game. Uh, I'm really fighting off the temptation to read the spoiler uh, read spoilers or something because I'm really really excited to see what the hell is you know waiting for me to fight against it or something there is gonna be some big bad deep one or something oh, wow that is glitching there I'm sorry about that sir uh, is that the way I go you know there is definitely going to be uh, yeah that is the way I go there's definitely going to be something I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to be like an, an original, how do you say, it? an original creation. Some has, uh, you know, originally made something terrible to Yogg-Sothoth or something like that, which I do suspect will come along eventually. Obviously, will it be that, or are they going to use um, one of Lovecraft's creations? Because as we've seen. We just saw a Cthulhu statue in the previous part of this Let's Play that I uploaded. And obviously everything that Lovecraft created is in open dom in, uh, what do you call it, open domain. So there's no reason why they infested with what? Am I going to have to bust a cap? Uh, so I mean, yeah, there's... Infested with what? Hmm. By the way, previously I, I wanted to actually help this guy out. There's a <laughs> there's a few instances where the guy's getting beaten up, so I popped the cap in him, and the game did not like that. Basically, you cannot kill NPCs. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'm wondering what is going to what is going to be the big bad creature in the end. If they use Cthulhu, right? Think about it. Then everyone's just going to be thinking, oh, it's just like Call of Cthulhu, which was released earlier. Uh, I don't think they would do that, even though they've put Cthulhu in the game. I think basically, um, I think it's going to be something original, but it's going to allude to like Yogg-Sothoth or something. Anyway, we're here in the police station. Let's talk. Oh, how are you doing? Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service, what can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Problem, officer? You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. 
and heed me well. You're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. <laughs> that voice actor enjoyed doing that, I think. Oakmont Police Department. So, uh, archive. So we're gonna be doing 1920s Google again, I think. Ay, ay, ay. I hate this part, to be honest. Um, let's have a look. All right. Now, excuse me if I don't get this immediately correct. So obviously it's crimes. We're looking at tax, misdemeanors, no, complaints, no, violent crimes. Subjects. No, uh, oh yeah, we got the two here. Let me just see. Fate of the expedition. Ah. Uh, hmm. Uh, this must be this one. So, crimes, violent crimes, which is attacks. District. Hmm. It'd be the whole district, so I won't select that. Subjects. Victims. Evidence. Criminal pattern, which is attacking. Uh, do we get something? Hey, first try. How about that, huh? At about 10.30 p.m. April 15th at the fish market... Isn't that racist against deep ones? Oh my god. It's disgusting. <laughs> I apprehended a suspicious looking Innsmouther as he was stalking a young woman. Uh, this Innsmouther didn't do nothing, but anyway, the police suspect that he had his, in his possession a particular golden amulet which resembled a fish eye seized as well as a dagger seized. Suspect resisted arrest. Uh, when I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, uh, <laughs> screaming for his brothers from EOD. How many of you guys, I know exactly what that reference is, but tell me in the comments below, what does EOD stand for? Come on, if you know your Lovecraft stories, this one should be easy. Several other arms insmothers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release it, sus insmother and retreat. Yeah, 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 that sounds like a, a real chimp out they had there, huh? Okay. So this was at the fish market. Alright, so... I found that one out. Then, wh what about this one? Or is there another thing I should be looking for? I don't know, actually. Well, I was given two things here. The fate of Throgmorton's task and the fate of the expedition. Wants me to find this. I must investigate and discover who attacked this expedition. Hmm. 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 I'm not sure, guys. Uh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try. Let me try. Hmm. Complaints? No. Violent crimes. Because that's attacked. This is their attack. Subject. No. Suspect. Victim. I'm not going to do the same thing again, right? District. Salvation. Harm. I am honestly a little bit lost here now. Criminal patterns. Documentation. Hmm. Nothing. Huh. Old Gr Grimhaven Bay. I'll, no, wait, I'll do... No, not the flashlight. District. Uh, the Grimhaven Bay. Crimes, violent crimes. And... Vic suspects. Nothing. Alright. Hmm. What could it be? Let me try again. Hmm. Rob Morton's task. Why am I not getting it? I got the police report for the one. I'm going to try one more time and then I'm just going to... Eastern Shells. Corner of... So it's giving me a direction at least. So I'm just going to try one more time for this task. Crimes. Violent crimes. Subjects. Victims. Maybe. Evidence. District. The Shells. No, first try. Nah, nada. 
Alright guys, at least I have that, um, this one, the new one here about the fish market, Eastern Shells, District, Corner of Orchid and Holy Fire. And where the hell was that going to be guys? The shells, oh, it's down here. Uh, then we have Holy Fire. Ambrose, there's another bit of uh, Ambrose Beers, of course. Uh, <laughs> another bit of uh, what do you call it? Ah, there we go. Orchid Avenue and Holy Fire. A little bit of uh, what do you call it? Um, fan service. Man, I really love it. You know, when you see little things like this, Ambrose Street, Howard Street, um, you know, all these other other street names like Dunsany Lane. It was stuff like that. You really think like, wow. Okay, you know. This is like the little things that um, people wouldn't really usually, uh, how do you say it? They wouldn't usually notice unless you're really into the game. So, uh, we are going to go over there. Since it seems, you know, but a cop shop. I'm in the police station. Don't they have something to loot? They must have guns and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, before I go off there, if you look at in my inventory, I have traps, a foot trap, and grenades. Really? Like a foot trap. What? Am, I can understand a grenade, right? But what am I going to use a foot trap for? This guy looks really... You know, what am I going to use a foot trap for, guys? I mean, really. You know, grenades I can get, you know. I mean, hell, they even used torpedoes in a Lovecraft story once. Um, so it's, oh, it's quite nearby. Alright then, uh, you guys, I'm not going to fast forward. You guys can just tag along while I think of something interesting to say. <laughs> um, here's fast travel point. Oh yeah, this fast travel point system is pretty good, actually. It's, it's good that they implemented it. Um... One thing I'm not really liking about this game is that everyone is so quiet. An NPC never says anything. You know? Um, it, it kind of feels like a Twilight Zone episode, I guess. I guess that's a good thing from a certain point of view, but I just kind of wish that, you know, someone would say something. Even if it was just like. You know, they're grumbling to themselves about, I don't know, this or that. Like, if you've ever played Thief, the Thief games, oh my god, they are, they are Kino. Thief games are fucking Kino, not the fourth one, obviously. But, you know, they're making some commentary, some talking, stuff like that. Or the Dishonored game, the first one. Dishonored 2 disappointed me. Uh, the first one, the city felt more alive. Just because people seem... It went all this quiet, so I think... Uh, the game... Uh, slipped up there, you know. Uh, I'm still very happy with it, though. It's not perfect, I, I, I will say. But it doesn't have to be a perfect game. It has to tell a good story. A good Lovecraftian story, and that seems to be what it's doing. Okay. Uh, here we are. Holy Fire and Orchid. Fish Market. Alright, guys. Let's just save. Just because, why not? Uh, confirm. Yes. Okay. So, we have to find some woman. Uh, da -da -da, case book. Uh, a young woman. Something like that, right? Well, I think it should be easy to find uh, someone who seems to be a talkative NPC. This guy? No. Well, I, oh, excuse me, I wanted to buy some of your delicious <coughs> stuff and you just leave. Um, well, we're going to have to roam around, I guess. It should be here somewhere. Sorry for the jump cut there, guys. Uh, I just forgot to put on subtitles. Uh, someone asked me, you know, could you please put on subtitles for the cutscenes? Uh, yeah, 
I'll do that for now. Uh, wait, isn't that that fisherman guy? Ah, <sighs> I'm not in the mood, newcomer. If you want to talk, see Anna. Yeah, that's the She's guy. In charge here. That's the guy we saw earlier. Fish, fresh fish. And it is only fair to be afraid. Titanic forces are at work, infinitely greater than ourselves. Unknowable, incomprehensible. There will be sacrifice. There will be loss. There will be darkness. But these are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time. And each of us has a part to play. You're optimistic. Interesting speech. You really think there's an upside to all this? Absolutely. The darker the day, the brighter we can all shine. And we will all shine again soon. All that's needed is faith. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this hmm. is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please, come to one of my full sermons. Ah, Charles Reed. Good to meet you. Ebernote Blackwood, brother of Algernon Blackwood. <laughs> Some more fan service there for us, huh? Blackwood, you're a member of the Grand Family. I am indeed the last of that line. Inheritor of an empty mansion and a severed history. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you around. Check out this guy's neck out there. It's got gills growing there almost. Fucking deep ones. Fish, fresh fish, fish, fresh fish. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Tell me about the EOD. What is the EOD? I mean, what what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. <laughs> bullshit. Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. <laughs> More bullshit. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. Hmm. What the... <laughs> Don't call me this. This bitch, I don't not like. I think she is bad news. This one, I really do. Uh, so I'm already pissed off at her calling me Charlie. Where are your super superiors? Are they perhaps underwater? It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. Charlie. How can I prove myself? Do I receive something for the rank? Well, I know what EOD means. I hope you guys do as well. Um, how can I prove myself? How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume is in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. And ever since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. What job? Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. 
Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. I'm in, I guess. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. Bye. See you later. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, also here, I guess this is a side note, Anna, the name Anna was featured in also the, the Shadow of Innsmouth, Anna Tilton, the curator of some museum that Robert Olmsted goes to visit. It's a nice little touch that they reused the name. Do you want a fishy? <laughs> Say that again? Do you want a fishy? <laughs> the way she said, wait, one more time. Do you want a fishy? Do you want a fishy? <laughs> One more time, one more time. Do you want a fishy? <laughs> I don't know why, that, that amused me. Anyway, um, so I mean the whole point of actually joining the cult here. Oh, let's go down here. The whole whole reason of, of joining these people is to find out where... <sighs> the door won't budge. Where they took that, uh, the Professor Doe, you know, Harriet Doe. Because they won't tell just some outsider, but if you're an insider, they'll let you know. Um, yeah. So, let's see our mind palace. Oakmond is starving, EOD is giving away fish. What the fish provided by the EOD, the city is at risk of famine. Hmm. And a representative of the EOD from the fish market asked me to investigate a robbery of fish storage in which in which they store their fish. It is located in the shells on Hawking Lane between Warren uh, and Liberty. Harley Warren, that's also a name from uh, the statement of Randolph Carter. Hawking, I don't know if that's a name from any Lovecraft story. I don't think so. And Liberty, I don't think so either. But Warren, yeah, Harley Warren. Um, so, it, anyway, it's between in the shells on Hawking Lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road. So between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Hawking. Hawking, 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 Hawking. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Please tell me. Uh, the shells is quite big actually. Maybe it's down here. Hawking Lane. Uh, Hawking Lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road, Hawking Lane. So that seems to be the place. Let's place the, put the compass thing. Uh, Barlow. Oh, that's another name. That was the name of one of uh, Lovecraft's co-writers, one of his friends. Oh man, I really respect them for what they did here. You know. Um, okay, how to get there? That's quite a fast. That's quite a far away thing. So I'm going to fast travel to when I get to about this area. This looks interesting, so I'll, when I get here, I'll start the video again. Alright, see you soon.